James, you need to look into who owns the companies in these tent cities, the cleaning companies, the contractors. They have men and women that are contractors to keep an eye. For every one agent, there's 10 contractors. We know they're only getting paid maybe 15 to 25 an hour. Who knows what the government's actually paying the company to staff them, though? If you did the research and looked into who owns these companies, they're shell companies, I'm assuming, and there's probably, I hate to say it, but we know it's true, there's probably politicians behind it or pumping stocks into them. They're the same companies that are in California or in the 10 cities in Texas. It's the same companies that I think they're called Allied Services, maybe, um, and the food. Who's pre preparing the food? This is a massive money grab. Money, once again, we learn in the Bible is the root of all evil. If you trace the money, eventually you'll get to the top of the evilness. I'm not saying you have money, there's evil, but who's making money off this? We know it's not the contractors that are passing out burritos and washing the tents. Are you a Christian? Do you believe in God? Yes, I am. Before this interview, me and you went over a couple psalms that really gave, that really reinforced the power of God. Federal job, non-federal job. Food, uh, being able to feed my family, feed myself. I put that second to telling the public what really needs to be heard. Uh, I'm no better than anyone else, but I've seen horrors, and on a daily basis, I've seen what's going on. They can do anything they want to me, but they can't take my belief in God. They can't take my afterlife. They can't take Jesus Christ away from me. They might be able to take my country. They might be able to take our school systems away. They might be able to take our pride. They, they can't take God from us. And if you have God and you have Jesus in your life, you, you can have the courage to stand up. And you, you can be brave. If you have the Bible in front of you, you can read Psalm 3 for me. Psalm 3. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you are a shield around me. The one who lifts my head high, I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, deliver me, strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. Yeah. I want to say sorry to my family for the consequences we may face in the future. Uh, I'm sorry for this, but it had to be done. I, if, I don't know if I'm first or last, but I had to do something. If you're a Border Patrol agent, and you know this is wrong, you've seen this, please stand up. Please stand up. I want to thank you, I want to thank Elon, I want to thank Patrick Ben David, I want to thank Andrew Chay, Justin Wallet, Tristan Tate. There's many men right now on the internet that are calling other men of ordinary lives to action. With God on my side, I'm not afraid. I'll leave tomorrow. I'm sick of this organization. I'm sick of these children. Who am I to say that this is so wrong and to continue to receive a check and hide in the shadows? But I'm just asking anyone to just step up and it's a call to action now. If you think about it, you'll hesitate and you'll get fat and hungry off the check. Step up and do the right thing. You know in the bottom of your heart what's right. And you know what's false. Unless you want to continue eating these little girls that get raped. And these children be sold. And all these men that are one day going to fight against our country. We're not going to have a school system. Yeah, right now it's in the big cities. What happens when it comes to your suburbs? What happens when they don't need us anymore? It's called useful idiots. I, I've done research. Right now we're the biggest useful idiots on the planet. We, 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 we might say the national anthem. We might say we have a belief under God. No, right now we're doing the work of the devil. Unfortunately, 2024 is the year of the light and the truth. Uh, right now I feel like the Holy Spirit is speaking from me. Please come forward. You know what's right. You know where your compass lies. I think that you're kicking off something that's going to... My prediction is that this is what 24 is going to yield, people like this. James, I was inspired personally by the spaces with Elon, Andrew Tate, Vivek. There is only good and evil. There is no in between. If you stand in between, you're no better than the Nazi, the Nazi guards that led people into the infernos. You must step forward. You cannot lie and wait and pay your mortgage because in one to two generations, there will be no mortgage to pay. I personally follow the light from God. I, I take inspiration from other men that have come before me and stood up. I plead with you. If you're an agent, you know what the right and the wrong thing is. You know these little girls are getting trafficked. And the sad thing is, they've turned the men that are supposed to protect the borders. We're now the new traffickers. And we've been the new traffickers ever since the new regimes come in. Me, personally, I have no problem standing up and facing the repercussions because that's what a man of honor 
And that's what a man who, who has a heart and soul and believes in God would do, regardless of what happens today. I'm not doing this for myself. The easy place to keep your mouth shut. But we weren't put on this earth to, to, to assist Satan, because this what they're, what's going on right now is, in my, I, in my heart, I believe is truly satanic and evil. God will want you to stand up regardless. This life isn't the only life you may be rewarded in. After talking to you today, I have to face my maker, and he's going to ask me, did I do everything possible to stop this? And this is one way I can do that. Ultimately, there's one Lord, there's one God. Thank you for the ending model. I don't want to mess it up. I just want to say many of these men that are, that are proud agents, we were inspired by Donald Trump. He was attacked. We believe in our hearts that he had our best intentions. He was the one that cared about us. It would show up and talk to us and made us feel as if we were real people and not just an agent of the government to commit evil. Mr. Trump, if you can hear this, I love you. Thank you. And you're always welcome in my home. Same with you, James, and all these people that have spoken today. Thank you. My mother will cook for you. You can always sit at our table. And no matter what they do to me, I'm proud of what we did today. Thank you. We're proud of you, brother. We, we got your back. We're, we're going to tell your story, and you're going to inspire a lot more people. They're going to have to go through me to get to you. And they're going to have to go through everyone here to get to me. So we're, we're all in this together.